Alright guys, and welcome to another episode of The Lure Challenge. Um, and in today's video, without further delay, we are going to be reviewing the Headbanger Tail Lure. Um, this is the 23cm version, uh, suspending, and the colour pattern is Coward, I think. Um, I had quite a few people request this, so I thought I'd buy one and... Uh, yeah, see what I think of it. Um, I've already been out with this this morning, as you can see. Um, because I wanted to fish at first light, because we'll have time later in the day. So, I'll play the fishing footage now. You can see see how I got on with it. And uh, after that, we will get right back to the review. So, hope you enjoy the fishing footage. There's one. Oh no, it came off. I've just whacked it then. Man, I feel like a decent one too. Damn. Annoying. That guy's probably spooked now. Didn't take too long to get a hit though. There's one. Yes. Come on, took it right near the surface. Decent, not a big fish, but that's missed one and caught one in like three different casts. So that's pretty good. Feisty little, feisty little pike. Boom, he's in the net. Whew, he's got a back treble up right in his lip. Woohoo, first pike on the headbanger. Not a bad little pike. Two or three pounder. Whoa. It's got a lot of energy. <laughs> so we'll let him get straight off so he doesn't cause himself any more harm. Hell yeah. We'll have a cast back at that one that got off as well and uh, see if he'll come back for it about five minutes later. Oh, that was sick.
because I have to go to work. So if we don't catch anything on this, I will see you back for the review. So guys, as you saw, not a bad session. I only fished for an hour this morning. Um, you know, I just wanted, just wanted uh, to fish at first light before work. So yeah, just had an hour session. Um, got a good see of how the bait swims, how it works. Managed to catch a fish, lost a fish. Um, yeah, it's not bad going for an hour's fishing. Um, and yeah, I will, uh, I'll let you know my thoughts on it. So first off, I wasn't feeling like I'd like this bait to start with. I thought I thought it was gonna cast because it's because it's so uh, spread out. It's quite light as well. Uh, I thought it was gonna be um, quite hard to cast, but it casts really well. It casts better than a lot of baits to be honest. So that surprised me. Um, it swims crazy, like complete unique swimming action you know you don't need to work the rod tip at all you can just straight retrieve this and it'll swim all over the place kind of it's yeah it's kind of like a spoon really you know a spoon will dart everywhere this this is the same but it's uh, a big a big tail bait so yeah that's pretty cool um strength wise it seems pretty strong i did cast this into a bridge uh and there's no damage to it at all uh the hooks are decent you know, the joints are decent, the paint job's decent, the tail's nice, so as far as that's concerned, I am I'm pretty happy with this bait. A um, couple of issues, it, it can get tangled up quite easy with it being so uh, flexible. A few casts, uh, the hooks were uh, ending up, you know, sort of stuck together like this, or the, the tail was tangled over the hooks, but you know, that's kind of expected with a bait like this. Um, yeah I'm happy with that <laughs> uh, the price of this bait it's I'm not sure the exact price I paid for this now I think it's around 22 pounds in the UK I'll put euros and dollars on the screen but yeah I think it was about 22 pound um, which is expensive I'm not gonna lie um, but you, you sort of paying for the innovation with this bait you know there's nothing out there like this They've not really got that much competition. Like, you know, there's no copies or anything out there. So yeah, you sort of, you're paying for the innovation with a bait like this. Uh, which yeah, I mean, it's a unique bait. I don't mind paying a little bit extra for something a little bit different, and that obviously does work. You know, so yeah, it's it's on the high on the high price point, but uh, it's, it's good quality. It's unique. And uh, yeah, I'm not not too fussed about paying that. You know, it's a nice lure. It works well, and I'm probably going to use it quite a lot in the future. So yeah, yeah, I don't mind paying that much for it. Um, the hooks are good. The paint's good. Nice solid rattle to it. Um, that's always nice. So overall, what am I going to give this bait? Um, I'm just, I'm just gonna give it a flat eight out of ten, I think. Slightly expensive, but knocks some points off. It tangles up pretty easily. Um, but apart from that, it's spot on. It catches fish. It casts like a dream. Um, and does exactly what you needed to. Suspends really nice in the water as well. This is the suspended version. I like a suspended lure. Pause it and it'll just sit there if you know if you're just following it, and you know that can trigger a lot of hits. Um, and this suspends perfectly, so I am happy with that. It does exactly what you want it to do. Um, give it a flat eight out of ten. And uh, yeah, that's the review. So hope you've enjoyed this video. Hope you find it helpful if you're looking to buy one of these. Um, if you've got any suggestions of any other lures you want me to review, let me know down in the comment box. Um, can't promise that I'll review them, but it's nice to have ideas off other people of what they want to see. So, that's the headbanger tail lure review anyway. Hope you've enjoyed, and I will catch you guys at the next video.